Hi, this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Vein Care talking about uh, the symptoms of tired and achy legs and what, what that means uh, for your circulation. And could it be due to your circulation? And the short answer is absolutely. And we see it pretty much every day of the week uh, when people come in with a vein condition. The thing that's interesting to me and surprising is that people usually uh, brush it off and say, oh, my, my legs are tired and achy, but... And they have a whole bunch of uh, reasons in their mind, at least. Well, I'm, I'm on my feet all day long. I'm, I'm working, uh, you know, uh, chasing my children or uh, I, you know, I don't get a chance to get a break. Of course, I would have tired, achy legs or I'm getting older. Of course, isn't that normal? And they, the answer to that is that's actually not normal for any of those things to cause uh, tired, achy legs. Now, I would say there are exceptions. If you're having extreme exertion at work, you're 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 really burning a lot of calories and you're doing serious manual labor well i think you you deserve to have some achy tired legs but most people are not like that they're just simply standing up and walking around more or less uh and i don't want to minimize that but that is not enough to cause people to have uh, severe fatigue uh, and really the problem is is that the fatigue is coming from their vein condition in most cases not from their activity Similarly, for age, it's not normal for people who are in their 50s, 60s, 70s to feel completely wiped out and not have any energy. Unless they have a medical condition, they could have a heart condition, a lung condition, or in our case, a vein condition can cause, can cause that fatigue. The pattern for the different conditions is different, so we can help sort out what is the, uh, what's the cause of that fatigue. But the fatigue that we see people have is, has a specific pattern that, that gives us the clue that this is related to their veins. The, the pattern is that uh, as the day goes on, their fatigue builds up and builds up. And by the end of the day, it has reached a point where for many, many people, we, I hear this from a lot of patients, they come home from work, they maybe do a few chores around the house, and then they sit down. And when they sit down, they are unable to get up and move. They're exhausted and wiped out. And what that is, is that they've been able to adapt throughout the day, but as soon as they stop, that overwhelming amount of inflammation in their body, and the inflammation in the body from the stagnant blood flow is really the problem. That has built up to the point where they, they cannot overcome it. Inflammation is a, is a basically a, a adaptation the body has when you're sick to slow down and heal. That's good when you're needing to heal, but when you have something abnormal, like abnormal circulation, it's not helping you. It's, it's hurting you. It's making you sit around and, and just be exhausted. So people um, have that pattern where they are just wiped out. They don't want to move. Those people are often the ones that end up gaining weight, an average of 10 to 15 pounds um, a year, because for four or five hours, they're not really moving around. These people can often make themselves get up and do things, but it is a struggle. They're just wiped out. And uh, the good news is that those, those uh, individuals get a tremendous relief and they're, they're the ones that are most surprised at how much they've been putting up with after they have a vein treatment. When we demonstrate they have an underlying vein circulation problem and that they're treated, they are really surprised. And some of those patients, I, I, I can, some of the stories have been dramatic. And there have been a number of patients who've told me about how weak they, their legs are and how going upstairs, they have to grab onto the railing to make it up to the top of their stairs in their home. Their, their legs are so tired and weak. Or there's a lady that, uh, gosh, it was a terribly sad story. She, this went on for a year and a half. Her, at the end of her workday, she came home and she had to go up 15 uh, steps to get into her house and she was, her legs were so heavy and tired and exhausted. The only thing she could do was to go up on her knees, up the stairs, 15 steps to get into her house. And she was amazed after treatments that what she had been putting up with because she, she was immediately better and became a new person. She was shocked. So uh, the symptoms of heavy, heavy fatigued legs is very common. It's related to a vein circulation problem for many patients uh, and symptoms really do improve with treatment. Um, and uh, to get that sorted out, you have to get a initial ultrasound and that shows us exactly where the vein problem is.
but Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Bank.